y is equal to g of t or x is equal to f of theta and y is equal to g of theta are known as parametric equations. Differentiation of 1 by t is minus 1 by t square. This can be written as minus 4 divided by t square. Let us represent this as equation number 2. If you take log on both sides, then this becomes logarithm of y to the power of x to base c is equal to logarithm of x to the power of y to base c. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of Mathematics Revision class. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty Department of Mathematics, Vidyashram PU College, the Temple of Excellence. Today in this session, I am going to discuss that is very important for the point of examination. So it will cover two marks, three marks questions. So that is derivative of uh, parametric equations and derivatives of uh, implicit functions. Now let us come to the first concept that is derivatives of parametric equation. Now what is a parametric equation? Now let us consider an equation of the form. Let x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t or x is equal to f of theta and y is equal to g of theta are known as parametric equations. Equations of the form x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t or x is equal to f of theta and y is equal to g of theta are called as parametric equations where the variable t or theta are called as the parameter. Theta is called the parameter or t is called as the parameter. So how to find the derivative of a function? Now let us consider x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t are two functions. How to differentiate this? Differentiate this with respect to the parameter. Differentiating with respect to t. If you differentiate with respect to t, you will get dx by dt is equal to differentiation of f of t is f dash t. Let us consider this as equation number 1 and if we differentiate this dy by dt is equal to differentiation of g of t is g dash t, this is equation number 2. Now just differentiate with respect to t or if it is theta, differentiate with respect to theta, then equation 2 by 1 gives equation 2 divided by 1 gives dy by dx is equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt. What is dy by dt? g dash of t divided by f dash of t will give the derivative of the given function. This is how we are going to differentiate a parametric equation. Now let us move on to the problems. Let us take few examples. These are all two more questions. You may expect one question from this for two marks. So if x is equal to 2a t square, y is equal to a t to the power of 4, find dy by dx. Now what is the given equation here? x is equal to 2a t square. Another one is y is equal to a into t to the power of 4. Now differentiate this with respect to t. Differentiating with respect to t, what we will get dx by dt is equal to 2a constant. Derivative of t square is 2t. This is equal to 4at. Let us represent this as equation number 1. On the other hand, differentiate this. Differentiating with respect to t, then what we will get dy by dt is equal to a constant. Differentiation of t to the power of 4 is 4t to the power of 4 minus 1 is 3. So 4a t cube. Let us represent this as equation number 2. Now what is dy by dx? 2 by 1 gives. Equation 2 by 1 gives dy by dt divided by dx by dt. What is dy by dt? 4a t cube divided by dx by dt is equal to 4a t. 4a, 4a gets cancelled. 1 t and t also gets cancelled t square. So therefore the required answer dy by dx is equal to t square that is it. So the derivative of this function here dy by dx is equal to t square we will get. This is how we are going to differentiate a parametric equation. Now let us move on to the one more example. If x is equal to 40, y is equal to 4 by t find dy by dx. This is also important for two marks. Now what is given x is equal to 4 into t and y is equal to 4 by t. So differentiating with respect to t, differentiating with respect to t, dx by dt is equal to 4 into differentiation of t is 1, this is equal to 4 equation number 1. This can also be written as 4 into 1 by t. Differentiating with respect to t, if you differentiate with respect to t, dy by dt is equal to 4 constant, differentiation of 1 by t is minus 1 by t square. 
this can be written as minus 4 divided by t square. Let us represent this as equation number 2. Now, what is the required answer? Now, just divide 2 by 1. 2 by 1 gives dy by dt divided by dx by dt. What is dy by dt? dy by dt is minus 4 by t square and dx by dt is equal to 4, right. So, what happens this 4 and 4 gets cancelled, this is equal to minus 1 by t square. So, the required answer dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by t square, that is it, right. So, this is how we are going to differentiate using parameters. Now, let us move on to the similar type problem. So, if x is equal to a t square, y is equal to 2 a t, find dy by dx. This is also a simple problem. If x is equal to a into t square, differentiating with respect to t, then what we will get? dx by dt is equal to derivative of t square is 2 t. This is equal to 2 a t equation number 1. On the other hand, y is equal to 2 a into t, differentiating with respect to t differentiate with respect to t, what you will get dy by dt is equal to 2 a into differentiation of t is 1, this is equation number 2. Now, equation number 2 by 1 gives dy by dx is equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt. What is dy by dt? 2 a and dx by dt is equal to 2 a into t. This 2 gets cancelled, this is equal to 1 by 2. So, d by dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2 in this case. Hope you followed. This is how we are going to differentiate if the parameter is t. Suppose this is again important problem if x is equal to 2 sin cube t, y is equal to 2 cos cube t, find dy by dx at t is equal to pi by 4. Now, first find out dx by dt and dy by dt. Now, what is given x is equal to 2 sin cube t, differentiating with respect to t, then what we will get dx by dt is equal to 2 into 3 sin square t into differentiation of sin t is cos t. This can be written as 6 sin square t into cos t. Let us represent this as equation number 1. On the other hand, y is equal to 2 cos cube t. Differentiating with respect to t, if you differentiate with respect to t, dy by dt is equal to 2 into n 3 cos square t into differentiation of cos t is minus sin t. This is minus 6 cos square t into sin t. Let us represent this as equation number 2. Now, equation 2 by 1 gives 2 by 1 gives dy by dt divided by dx by dt. What is dy by dt? Minus 6 cos square t into sin t divided by dx by dt is 3 6 times sin square t into cos t. Divide the terms 1 cos and cos 6 and 6 sin everything gets cancelled minus 1 cos in the numerator cos t divided by in the denominator we have 1 sin t. Cos t by sin t is equal to minus cot t. So, dy by dx is equal to minus cot t. Now, what is to find dy by dx at t is equal to pi by 4, t as pi by 4 minus cot of pi by 4. What is cot 45? That is equal to minus 1. So, dy by dx at t is equal to pi by 4 is minus 1. Very important. Sometimes you may expect this question for 3 marks also. Now, move on to the next problem. This is also a very, very important problem. 3 mark question. If x is equal to square root of a sin inverse t, y is equal to square root of a cos inverse t, show that dy by dx is equal to minus y by x. Now, what is given? x is equal to root of a sin inverse of t and y is equal to root of a cos inverse t. Square this. Squaring on both sides, then this becomes x square is equal to square square root gets cancelled. a sin inverse t. If we square this, y square is equal to square square root gets cancelled cos inverse of t. Now, let us add this, adding 1 and 2. Now, if you add 1 and 2, what you will get? Multiplying 1 and 2, then we will get x square into y square is equal to a sin inverse t into a cos inverse of t. Now, this is x square y square is equal to law of indices a to the power of m into a to the power of n is a to the power of m plus n, we can write sin inverse t plus cos inverse of t. 
So this is x square y square is equal to a to the power of since we know that sin inverse of x plus cos inverse of x is always equal to pi by 2. So substitute here this becomes a to the power of pi by 2. So x square y square is equal to a to the power of pi by 2. Now differentiate you will get the answer very simple see squaring on both sides f is square squaring on both sides then x square is equal to a square square root gets cancelled a sin inverse t y square is equal to square square root gets cancelled a cos inverse t multiplied x square into y square is equal to a to the power of sin inverse t into a to the power of cos inverse t a raised to m into a raised to n is a raised to m plus n sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2. So x square y square is equal to a to the power of pi by 2. Now differentiate that is it. Differentiate this x square y square is equal to a to the power of pi by 2 differentiating with respect to x on both sides. So x square this is product rule first function x square into derivative of y square is 2y dy by dx plus y square constant derivative of x square is 2x is equal to a to the power of pi by 2 is constant derivative of a constant is 0. Now just keep this x square into 2y dy by dx here itself and transfer this becomes minus 2x into y square. Only dy by dx is equal to minus 2x y square divided by x square into 2y. So 1, 2, 2 gets cancelled. In the numerator 1y, in the denominator 1x gets cancelled. dy by dx is equal to minus what is there in the numerator y in the denominator x. So the answer is minus y by x which is the answer that is it ok. Differentiations of uh, implicit functions. Now move on to the next problem that is differentiations with respect to x. Now again this is also a very important problem for the point of examination a 3 marks question based on implicit functions. Differentiate the following with respect to x if y to the power of x is equal to x to the power of y. That means if y power x is equal to x power y find dy by dx. This is also important problem for the point of a examination. Now this can be differentiated what is given given y to the power of x is equal to x to the power of y taking log on both sides taking log e to bc on both sides. If you take log on both sides then this becomes logarithm of y to the power of x to base c is equal to logarithm of x to the power of y to base c. This came done as x log y this is equal to y log x. Now differentiate this differentiating with respect to x on both sides if you differentiate differentiating with respect to x on both sides what we will get x into differentiation of log y is 1 over y into dy by dx plus log y constant log y constant derivative of x is 1. On the other hand differentiate this y into differentiation of log x is 1 over x plus log x into differentiation of y is dy by dx. This can be written as x by y dy by dx and bring this dy by dx to the left hand side log x dy by dx is equal to y by x and transfer plus log y becomes minus log y. Now you can take dy by dx out dy by dx common factor what we have x by y minus log x is equal to this is y by x minus log y right. Now therefore only dy by dx is equal to dy by dx is equal to y by x minus log y divided by x by y minus log x. So if you want you can stop here itself or take LCM and simplify. So here what is the LCM? x is the LCM cross multiply y into x log y divided by here y is the LCM x minus y into log x to bc. So if you want you can interchange this therefore dy by dx can be written as dy by dx is equal to this y comes to the numerator. So y into y minus x log y divided by in the denominator this x into x minus y times log x that is it. This is, if you want you can stop here itself 
or simplify further by taking LCM, we will get dy by dx is equal to y into y minus x log y divided by x into x minus y log x. That is it. If you do this much, definitely we will get a 3 mass. Very important type problem indeed. Hope you followed. Now, let us come to the next problem. If x y is equal to e to the power of x y, find dy by dx given x into y is equal to e to the power of x minus y. Taking log on both sides, on both sides, this is also an important problem indeed. If you take log, log of x y is equal to logarithm of e to the power of x minus y. So, this is of the form log m into n is log m plus log n, log x plus log y is equal to since this is of the form log of m to the power of n is equal to n log m to base c. This is n x minus y into logarithm of e to base c. Since you know log e to base c is equal to 1. So, this is log x plus log y is equal to x minus y into 1. What is this equal to? So, x minus therefore, I can write log x plus log y is equal to x minus y into 1 is x minus y. Now, differentiate this, differentiating with respect to x. If I differentiate with respect to x on both sides, differentiation of log x is 1 over x, log y is 1 over y dy by dx, differentiation of x is 1 minus y is dy by dx. So, you just keep 1 over y dy by dx and transfer minus dy by dx becomes plus dy by dx is equal to 1 and transfer this plus 1 by x becomes minus 1 over x. Now, here dy by dx is out, then what is left 1 by y plus 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 by x. Now, therefore, I will go to the next page, dy by dx is equal to 1 minus 1 over x divided by 1 plus 1 by y. Take LCM, x is the LCM, x minus 1, here y is the LCM, y plus 1. What is this equal to? x minus 1 by x into y divided by y plus 1. So, therefore, dy by dx can be written as dy by dx is equal to y into x minus 1 divided by x into y plus 1. That is it. This is how we are going to differentiate this. Hope you followed. Okay. Next, move on to the next problem. This is also a very important question for phi mass. The parameter is t. Now, this is what is given first x is equal to a into cos t plus logarithm of tan t by 2. Very important problem. Sometimes you may expect this for phi mass. Differentiating with respect to t. Differentiate with respect to t. What we will get? dx by dt is equal to a into differentiation of cos t is minus sin t. Let us assume this as log x. Differentiation of log x is 1 over x, 1 over tan t by 2 into differentiation of tan is secant square of secant square t by 2. Right. See here. Differentiation of log x is 1 over x, 1 over tan t by 2 into d by dt of tan t by 2. Differentiation of tan is secant square t by 2 into differentiation of t by 2 is 1 by 2. So, a into minus sin t plus 1 by tan can be written as cot, cot t by 2 into this is 1 by 2 into secant square can also be written as 1 over cos square t by 2. Now, this is equal to a into minus sin t plus cot can be written as cos by sin, cos t by 2 divided by sin of t by 2 into this 1 by 2 as it is into 1 over cos square t by 2. Now, cancel the terms which gets cancelled. One cos and cos in the numerator gets cancelled. What we have here, this is a into minus sin t plus in the numerator 1 divided by put it in order 2 times we have 1 sin t by 2 and cos t by 2. Now, this is of the form 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 is nothing but off angle formula sin theta sin theta is also equal to 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. Now, I will move to the next page. Therefore, dx by dt is equal to a into minus sin t plus minus sin t plus 1 over 2 sin t by 2 cos t by 2 is also equal to 1 by sin t. Now, take LCM a into sin t is the LCM 
minus sin into sin is sin square t plus 1. So, this is a into 1 minus sin square t divided by sin t. What is 1 minus sin square? 1 minus sin square is cos square t divided by sin t. This is equation number 1. This is dx by dt. Okay. See here I will explain. Derivative of cos t is minus sin t. Log is 1 over tan t by 2 into differentiation of tan t by 2 is of secant square t by 2. 1 by tan is cot. 1 by 2 as it is secant square can also be written as 1 by cos square reciprocal relations. Cot theta is cos by sin and 1 by cos square, 1 cos and cos gets cancelled. We have minus sin t into 1 over 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 form is sin theta. So, minus sin t into 1 by sin t, take LCM and simplify. Sin t is LCM minus sin into sin is sin square t plus 1, 1 minus sin square is cos square. This is equation number 1. On the other hand, what is equation 2? We have y is equal to a sin t, y is equal to a sin t. Differentiate this with respect to t, dy by dx is equal to a cos t. Equation 2 by 1 gives, 2 by 1 gives, that is dy by dt divided by dx by dt. What is dy by dt? a into cos t divided by dx by dt is a into cos square t divided by sin t. The sin t will goes to the numerator. So, what will have cos cos gets cancelled, a and a also gets cancelled. dy by dx is equal to sin t divided by cos t. What is sin by cos? This is equal to tan t that is all. So, the required answer is dy by dx is equal to tan t. Hope you followed very important for 5 marks. So, dy by dx is equal to tan t. Now, move on to the next problem same parametric here what is the parameter theta is the parameter differentiating with respect to theta on both sides you will get the answer. So, differentiating with respect to theta what we have first equation dx by d theta is equal to a into differentiation of theta is 1 and differentiation of sin theta is cos theta equation number 1. Here dy by d theta is equal to a into 1 0 minus derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta minus into minus becomes plus a sin theta. This is equation number 2. Now 2 by 1 gives 2 by 1 gives dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta dy by d theta is a sin theta divided by a into 1 plus cos theta. So, this is equal to a a gets cancelled sin theta divided by 1 plus cos theta that is all. So, if you want you can stop here itself or further simplification. So, you can stop here itself or further if you want use off angle formula sin theta is also equal to 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 and 1 plus cos theta there is there are so many formulas for cos theta. Cos theta is also equal to uh, 2 cos square theta minus 1 of angle formula just transfer minus 1 to the left hand side then 1 plus cos theta can also be written as 2 cos square theta by 2. So, 1 plus cos theta is equal to 2 cos square theta by 2. 2 and 2 gets cancelled 1 cos and cos gets cancelled sin by cos is equal to tan theta by 2. The required answer is tan theta by 2. Hope you followed. Now, move on to the next problem. Now, this is also a parameter with the theta is a parameter differentiating with respect to theta on both sides. What happens this is dx by d theta is equal to a into differentiation of theta is 1 sin theta is minus cos theta. Here it is dy by d theta is equal to a into differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta dy by dx is equal to same as usual dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta minus a sin theta divided by a into 1 minus cos theta. So, a a gets cancelled as usual minus sin theta can be as 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 divided by since this is 1 minus cos theta for 1 plus cos theta 2 cos square 1 minus sin is 2 sin square theta 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2 this 2 gets cancelled we have cos by sin is equal to minus cot theta by 2. So, in the previous problem it is tan theta by 2 it is minus cot theta by 2 because this is 1 1 theta minus sin theta previous one is theta plus sin theta and this is plus cos theta 
previous one is minus cos theta. Now move on to the next problem, same type, differentiating with respect to theta, what we have dx by d theta is equal to a into differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta. This is product rule, UV method, first function, theta into differentiation of sin theta is cos theta plus sin theta into differentiation of theta is 1 plus sin theta minus sin theta gets cancelled dx by d theta is equal to a into theta into cos theta equation number 1. On the other hand, if you differentiate this, dy by d theta is equal to a into differentiation of sin theta is cos theta plus again this is product rule first function theta into differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta plus cos theta into differentiation of theta is 1. So, what happens this is equal to a into cos theta minus theta sin theta again plus cos theta. Now, this is equal to a into cos theta plus cos theta is 2 cos theta minus theta sin theta equation number 2. So, therefore, the required answer is dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta that is a into 2 cos theta minus theta sin theta divided by in the equation we have a into theta cos theta. So, here a and a gets cancelled get the answer. Suppose if it is minus if the problem is y is equal to a into sin theta minus theta cos theta you will get the different answer. So, if it is negative sign we will get dy by dx y dash is equal to a into differentiation of sin theta is cos theta minus first function second function theta into differentiation of cos theta is minus into minus plus sin theta minus cos theta into 1 these two gets cancelled you will get a into theta sin theta then dy by dx will be the other answer dy by dx for this for this one a into theta sin theta divided by a into theta cos theta then these two gets cancelled sin by cos is tan theta. So, for this plus it is answer for minus this is the answer do not get confused ok there are two different problems. Now, move on to the last problem in this y is equal to root of sin x plus root of sin x plus root of sin x etcetera up to infinity find dy by dx. So, the given equation can be written as y is equal to root of sin x plus remaining sin x sin x is nothing but y from this equation number 1 from 1. Now, squaring on both sides squaring on both sides what happens y square is equal to square square root gets cancelled sin x plus y. Now, I differentiate it differentiating with respect to x. Then what happens differentiation of y square is 2y dy by dx is equal to differentiation of sin x is cos x and differentiation of y is dy by dx. Now, you can transfer dy by dx to the left hand side 2y dy by dx minus dy by dx is equal to cos x right. So, dy by dx out we can take 2y minus 1 is equal to cos x therefore, dy by dx is equal to cos x divided by 2y minus 1 that is it very simple problem usually in such type of problems. So, the answer you are going to get in the denominator is 2y minus 1 and in the numerator the derivative of the inside function. So, what is derivative of sin x cos x divided by 2y minus 1. So, you may expect this type of question c1 for a CET exams also ok very important type. So, 3 marks question right. So, these are few problems based on a parametric as well as an implicit function for 2 mark and 3 marks hope you followed. So, that is all regarding today's session let us meet with the different concept in the next session thank you thank you very much.